Welcome to our TrapCat editor for version 6.0. When you click on the software, if you don't already have the software in your documents folder, Mac or PC, will create a folder called TK TrapCat underscore data files. And in the file you'll see here in this folder, all the different kinds of SysX that you can have. Individual kits, TrapCat 4.0, TrapCat 5.0 kits, and everything gets converted over to 6.0. And then when you open up the program, they all show up here. So the first thing they have to do is organize your MIDI input and output. If you're going to be sending stuff to your TrapCat, make sure that you set it up to your interface. If you are sending from the TrapCat to the editor, make sure you set up the input. And then when you want to send stuff to the editor, you simply press on that and have the TrapCat send it and things will load in. Okay, so let's see how the program works. So let's say you wanted to load in a single kit. When you load in a single kit, there are basically two ways that it can load. From the header means, it's going to take the kit name and location right from the file itself. So here, when you drop it down, it's going to go to kit number two, and there it is, cowbells. But if I wanted to take kit number two and put it into kit number one, I would simply say load kit into one, drop it down, and now it loads that kit, same kit, into number one. So each time, if you want to do things individually, you want to put that in, say, kit number three. You can do it like that. And now it goes into three. Or you can just keep on just keep going like this, and it will just drop it down as it shows up in the file, the TrapCat file. Now, if you wanted to do an old kit stump from the uh, TrapCat, which is in the, the, the TrapCat, really an old memory dump, and you load that in, you just drop it down here, and then it loads in all the kits at one time. Saving is really easy. If you're saving a kit, you hit this one. If you want to save the all memory, you hit this one. And that's, I'm going to call it the same thing. It's going to overwrite, and now it's saved. I can call it up any time. I could also send it to the TrapCat by just saying send all memory or send the kit. I could also send a kit to a specific location. So I could send, I can just send that kit number five. And I hit send kit and it will go to kit five on the TrapCat. But let's say you wanted kit number five to be, uh, on kit number one on the trap cat. Okay, kit number five says groove. So I can go to the cowbell. I can go to kit number five. Now five is gonna go to one and I send it and that kit goes right out. So that's really cool and easy to move around and create your own kits in your order that you like. So how do we actually edit the pads? Well, you hit kit edit. And then you decide what kit you want to edit, what you want to name the kit. There are 24 pads on the trap cat. So let's say we want to go to pad number one. And let's say that we want to have three notes. Remember, each pad can play up to, up to 16 different notes. So we're just going to want to have three notes playing on this. So we have 36, let's, let's say we want this to be 48. We go like this, we go to 48. And now we have the three sounds. Why do we get three sounds? Because the curve on the trap cat determines, this determines how it controls velocity. And then we have these choices, second note harder, second note hard, two layered note, Cross fade, etc. I chose this one to be a uh, a three note layer, and then we also assign the gate time, 
the channel minimum velocity, maximum velocity, and whether the pad is linked. So that is pad one. Let's say on pad two, I want to have an alternate, alternate note number. So I would go to alternating, and I would create some notes here. And then when I get to the fourth note, I'm going to want to reset. So now I have an alternate three, and on the fourth note, it resets. Gate time, channel, minimum, maximum, and link pad. It's so much easier than working on the working on the trap cat itself. So this is how you would do this for all of the 24 pads and the bass drum. And we'll get into the hi-hat uh, now. So there are up to four pads you can assign to the hi-hat mode. And this is where you assign it. So here, pads one and four are going to be the hi-hat pads. Then we have the choice of whether we want to send out controller one, four. Uh, that only goes to 64. This goes to 127. And then this goes to hat note. KTM1 module, we don't have to worry about that because the note numbers are uh, just uh, basically we assign controller number one and we give it an open and close sound and it does all the rest. You want to assign a chick sound, you can put a chick sound here. You want to assign a splash, you assign a splash here. And you have for the foot pedal itself, besides the channel, of course, you can you have a choice of several different curves. And then remember the trap cat can send out four different program changes per kit. So that means that if you had two, two drum modules, you could have one on channel two, one in on channel 10, and one has an MSB, let's say, of zero, and then three, and LSB of, of three. And this one has an MSB of 122, MSB of that. And then you have a program number that goes here. There's your program number. And here's the volume that you can set. This is a lot easier, isn't it? Now, we put this part in because even though our KTM1 doesn't have uh, allow you to do this, uh, our GigCat and our GigCat uh, 2 has the ability to do all these things. And our GigCat 3 coming out will also do these kinds of things. So now we have a preset uh, tremolo, chorusing, detuning, sound variation, resonance, etc., and you can assign a value to them as well. When you finally finish, you simply you can send it. That will override kit one on the trap cat, or you can write it and put it anywhere you want. That's pretty much the whole thing with the exception of the global. There's a couple things on the global to think about. You can turn your people on and off. You can have your memory protection and you can switch between user and factory kits. So that's the trap cat editor.